New to macOS Mojave is a rebranding of the Apple Books app. It was previously called iBooks, and now it's Apple Books. And the reason I want to talk about this app today is it's a great way to learn about Final Cut Pro and other apps on your computer, in addition to just reading normal books and normal content. When you see a book, you'll have it on your bookshelf here. You can just double click on the book to open it, and then you'll be able to start reading this book. Now you can either click on the right side of a page, click and drag to flip to the next page, or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Usually when I'm on the computer, I use the arrow keys. So if I press the arrow to the right, it goes to the next page, and I can just keep pressing the right arrow to navigate through the pages. The other really nice thing about having a book here digitally is these are all links that you can jump to. So you can just click on a link and it'll jump to that page, or in this case, that chapter of the book. And you can continue to read through it and take notes. You can highlight an area of a book here, and you'll get the option to add a note. When you do add a note, I'm just going to call this our test note. Uh, when you do add these notes, you actually can really easily get back to them at any time. At the top left on our toolbar here, we can go back to all of the books, which we see here. Or we can go to the um, table of contents here to navigate. But then the next one over, this is where we see our notes. So here's that one note I took. I can open this up to see the highlight in addition to the note that I took. Especially if you're learning about Final Cut or another app, you might be taking notes on specific features and characteristics that you want to remember. So these notes are a great way to do that. Additionally, on the right side with any book, we have the options to change the way the text is viewed. You can search for a specific word. So if you see something in Final Cut and you're trying to find out, okay, what is a subclip or another term that's used, just type it in and you can search for it and find it here. And then we see our bookmarks. Uh, very similar to using a physical book where you can put little tabs on the pages, you can do the same thing here. So we just hit that little uh, tab there and it adds a bookmark for this page. If I go to the next page, notice there's no bookmark, but if I go back, we see that bookmark on there. And we go to another page here, add another bookmark. You can add multiple bookmarks, and then you'll see the list of all of them here. So that's a quick overview of just reading a book, and that's pretty straightforward. There's not too much to that. Um, what I also want to show here is just the way that the Books app organizes them, especially if you download a lot of books, you're probably going to want to create collections. The collections allow you to group the books into specific categories, basically like folders of your books. So if you have a whole category of Final Cut books, you can hit the plus at the bottom, create that new co uh, collection here, we'll just call it Final Cut, and then you can add any book to that collection just by dragging it over. Uh, additionally, as you'd expect, we get authors, so you can sort based on the author, categories based on the type of book that we're looking at, and you also have lists. So you can just use this list view as a way to sort by any of the columns at the top. Very similar to the browser inside of Final Cut, we looked at that in a few videos ago. And you can control click on the top here and add additional columns if you want more information or uh, remove those uh, on there. So that's using your books on the Apple Books app. And then you also have the bookstore at the top left. So going to the bookstore allows you to search through and purchase books uh, on here. And there's a ton of content in the books app. And I would if you haven't looked at this, I'd recommend going through it because there are on the right side, you can see there's a column for free books. And with any book, you get an option to get a kind of a free preview of that book and can start reading it to see if it's something that you'd like. So uh, at, similar to iTunes and the other stores, they're, they're broken up into the top charts. Uh, books has this specific one, which is the New York Times tab. So you can see some of these books in the bestseller list, which is nice. Uh, you get fiction and nonfiction and other subcategories in each of the tabs. And then categories, depending on the type of book you're looking for. If you're just shopping, you can do that on the right side, and we have authors as well. Uh, the last thing I want to show here is the search. So if we want a book on Final Cut Pro 10, we can search Final Cut Pro 10, and we get a list of those books here. Again, just like we saw a second ago, you have categories, which you can narrow down this search based on those categories, or you can scroll through and see the various books that are here. So this includes uh, reference guides, like the ones created by Apple, and they'll say Apple Inc. on there. If it's free, which in this case it is, you can just hit the Get button, and it'll have you sign into your account, and it'll start downloading. Uh, otherwise, we can see other books that are listed here with the price that it would be to purchase that book. So if you're not interested in necessarily paying all the money to buy a book and then find out it's not something that you'd like to read, 
you can actually click on a book. We'll click on my guide here, an awesome guide to Final Cut Pro 10. You can click on the guide and then hit this Get Sample button. And when you do get sample, you'll sign into your account and it'll download a sample of that book. And then you can click on Read Sample and it goes in and gives you the sample, which uh, is pretty good. In this case, it gives you the uh, first couple pages of this book and you can read through that and start to get an idea of how the book is written, if it's something you'd like, if you like the way that it's worded and the illustrations, all that good stuff is, is in there in the preview. So uh, that's it. And then if you want to do it, you can buy it at the top. Uh, otherwise, that's Apple Books in a uh, nutshell here. Uh, I guess I did want to show this. So you can resize the book and you can see how it resizes it and now it's in the one page layout. And what I really like about this is you can resize it in a way that works with uh, Final Cut. So we can shrink down the Final Cut interface, maybe about, about two thirds of the way or so over. So you can be reading the guide on one side here and then using Final Cut on the right side. And it's an easy way to go back and forth. So hope this gives you some tips you can use. Otherwise, if not, stay tuned, subscribe, you'll get the next tip uh, tomorrow. And if there's something specific you wanna learn, just like any of my videos, I always throw this out there, just send an email to finalcutprohelp at me.com.